All right, folks, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It. Four, three, two, one, before the fire. Christ's purpose. His purpose was to make one new man from the two. From out of the two, because there's a W, he wants to make one out of two because you are spiritually double. You're a twin thing, twin system, prisoner of war. He wants to make one new man out of the two, thus making peace. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna, this uh, there's a news program called We Are Change. Uh, Lewinowski is the guy that does it. He does some pretty good news stuff. I like watching his stuff. Uh, way better than mainstream media stuff. He does some good stuff. I'm going to show you a little intro he did. Pay attention. It's a really good intro, and then I'm going to talk about it. Here we go. Here we go. You are. Humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul. In 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains. In 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains. And um, I can immediately feel, because you all will have implants, I can, and we measure your, your brain waves, and I can immediately tell you how the people react, or I can feel uh, how the people react um, to you. Humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this, soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me so whatever I choose whether in the election or whether in the supermarket this is my free will that's over free will that's over that's over over today we have the technology to hack human beings on a massive scale yeah I mean everything is being digitalized everything is being monitored in this time of crisis you have to follow science it's often said that you should never allow a good crisis to go to waste because a crisis is an opportunity to also do re good reforms that in normal times people will never agree to. But in a crisis, you see, we have no chance. So, 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 so let's... Oh! Okay, that, this is the guy's channel. You should go watch his newscast. He does some pretty good stuff. Let's listen one more time. Listen very carefully. Very carefully. In 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains. And um, I can immediately feel, because you all will have implants, I can, and we measure your, your brain waves, and I can immediately tell you how the people react, or I can feel uh, how the people react um, to you. Are. Humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will, and nobody knows what's happening inside me, so whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. Free will, that's over. That's over. Over. Today, we have the technology to hack human beings on a massive scale. Yeah, I mean, everything is being digitalized. Everything is being monitored. In this time of crisis, you have to follow science. It's often said that you should never allow a good crisis to go to waste, because a crisis is an opportunity to also do re good reforms that in normal times people will never agree to. But in a crisis, you see, we have no chance. So Pay attention, Revelation 13. On the earth in the sight of men, and deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, threescore, and six. All right, guys, when I did the Just a Messenger series back in 2007, the Lord died. That's when the Lord died. Called me out and said, now I need you out in front of the public, to which I did not really want to do. I asked him, I was in court fighting for custody. 
the Lord told me this is what you have to do. <clears throat> he wanted me to go out and tell the world who the Antichrist was. Who the Antichrist was. A lot of people think they know what the beast is. Oh, he has a deadly wound. Looks like it's been healed. The sword, by the way, is the sword of the Spirit. A lot of people have thought they knew what the Bible meant, but they didn't know what it meant at all. Unless you know that everything's right side up, upside down system, and you don't know that, you don't know the truth. The Lord made me just snarky enough not to put up with people that want to argue with the truth. I love you in Christ, but Jesus was crucified right side up. Peter, who had the keys to the kingdom of heaven, was crucified upside down, representing a twin system, right side up, upside down, good and evil, because we are the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And Jesus said, unless your eye be single, your whole body won't be full of light. If not, but if your eye be single, your whole body is full of light, because there's a right side up you, and there's an upside down you. There is a double you. You are your own worst enemy because of what's inside you, good and evil. And the only way to overcome evil is to surrender to God and admit your guilt and you deserve your punishment. Ask for forgiveness and admit your guilt before God that you deserve it because you had free will. Free will is what does all this. You chose to be here. There's no one that's in this world that did not choose to be here. If you're in a host body, it's because you wanted a host body. That's what free will is. You chose to partake of the forbidden fruit. And we're all here because of it. It's not because some guy Adam ate an apple. Never says Adam ate an apple. Anywhere. It's fascinating. The depths of the knowledge that the Lord's given me. The mark of the beast is at the door now. Let me show you something. So in the Justin Messenger uh, series, I showed you this guy right here. There's your boy right there. Uh, let me show you. The number of the beast is 666, or the number representing his name. A, okay, ready? B, A, R, A. C K H U S S E I N O B A M A eighteen six 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 eighteen the number representing his name eighteen there's your boy the guy that winks in the mirror while he's sticking out his tongue doing the get your health care bill that guy right there now let me show you something let me show you the the wording the verbiage so you understand the wording let me show you the exact wording while well, klaus schwab who met at the world economic forum and all that is telling you everyone's gonna have a chip he just said it i listen guys i just concluded the night in the alley i got saved the resolution of my entire walk was was concluded on a bridge at a place called Black Rock by throwing two rocks that were split in half, by binding them together and throwing them into a river in a place called Black Rock. Oddly enough, the black rocks that I threw in that were the same rock that were split in half that the Lord told me, bind them together. He told me to take them to Black Rock and throw them into the river on one side of the bridge. And on the other side of the bridge, he had me throw a black skull into the other side. One side's death on one side of the river. And on the other side of the river, the two rocks that had been put together representing life were thrown in on the other side of the bridge. Oddly enough, on the side that I threw the death, the one that was death, the skull was 2X right there. And it said, Louis? You're kidding me, right? Louie, the name of my girlfriend and my wife who gave me a card with a serpent eating a sheep. The girl that was with me the night I got saved that said, Jonathan, do not open that door. We will get killed. And I said, you don't have to go. I have to know the truth. And I opened the door. 
there's so much more behind it that y'all don't know that I haven't even talked about. Corey knows. I've talked to Corey about it. I'll use him as a witness. My ministry has come to a perfect fulfillment. Perfect fulfillment. <laughs> I'll talk about it later. Let me show you something. Let's do Revelation 13. By the way, the sunrise when I threw the rocks into the river was at 544. Look at the word truth. Oh, Amen. Oh, Amen. To build up. To foster as a parent like we got adopted by the Lord God. To trust or believe to be permanent. Morally to be true or certain. To the right hand. Okay, that's the Lord told me, look up the time the sunrise rose when I blew the shofar in Black Rock, uh, when I went to Black Rock. Okay, let me show you this real quick. Let me show you the mark of the beast. Ready? Klaus Schwab, everyone's going to have a chip. You just said it. Revelation 13. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Of the beast. The word Therion, a dangerous animal, venomous wild beast. A hunting trap. See it? It was the host body system was the hunting trap. That's why these girls have mandibles on their vaginas. It's a no-brainer. I mean... Why, when you turn the virgin upside down, it's a dragon. Why, when you turn the virgin upside down, it's a dead sheep. Hunting trap. Okay, the beast. That they should both speak and cause all that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So whoever doesn't worship it like in the time of Daniel, you'll be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark on their right hand or their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. The number of his name. A number as reckoned up. Six plus six plus six is 18. B-A-R-A-C-K-H-U-S-S-E-I-N. O-B-A-M-A. -A. 18. I told everybody in 2007 who he was. You think Biden's calling the shots? Or do you think some guy in his sweats in his basement is calling the shots that doesn't have to do all the formal ceremonial stuff as he trashes the U.S. to bring it down? Here we go. Then no man might buy or sell, buy or sell save he had the mark of, of the beast or the name of the beast, which is the number of his name. Now, ready? Watch this. Let me show you the word mark. You see the word mark? It says a scratch or etching that is a stamp as a badge of servitude. So you're going to serve the one whose mark you take. A scratch or etching, etching that is stamp. Ready? Get ready. To sharpen to a point through the idea of scratching a stake. Read it. Say it. A stake. By implication, a palisade. Do y'all know what a palisade and a stake is? Let me show you what a palisade and a stake is. These are different palisades. They are fence post tips. You know what? Let's just do right here. Let me show you this. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to do Google Images. Let's see. Fence palisade. It's a fencing in. They're fencing you in. They're fencing in your soul. There you go. You see these? These are palisades. It's a way of fencing your soul in. You will no longer have free will. You will be taken. You will be fenced in. It is a military siege against you. These are different palisade tips. Watch. Watch very closely. Pay very close attention. Palisade tips. These are different tips. Okay, now let me show you those different tips right here. Just okay, so here is a palisade, which is what it says 
the mark of the beast is a palisade as in fencing because it will go in you and it will be a way to fence in your soul so you can't get out maybe because they've already given something into the whole host body system maybe that they could do that with like graphene or something and here is a palisade it's a fence but it's a fence for fencing in there's one right here see it let me show you exactly what we're talking about there you go there you go there is an rfid chip see it right there there is a palisade a palisade and a stake do you understand a stake i'll do it again a palisade and a stake let's see if i can just drag that into the other one let's drag it in right in here a palisade and a stake this is for fencing you in sticking the stake in you isn't it fascinating that the whole vampire thing they're like use a stake to kill it <laughs> isn't that fascinating so they're going to put a palisade in you inject the stake that stake is going to run a neural net on you and once you sign that over you have handed over your free will Free will is everything. You cannot love God without free will. You cannot love the Lord God without free will. That's what this is all about. It's about taking your free will. If they can take your free will, you've signed yourself over to your new owner. That's where it says, now here's the patience of the saints. Get your head cut off, whatever it takes. Never, ever, ever give away your free will. Ever serve the king no matter what it costs there you go watch ready then no man might buy or sell save he had the mark of the beast or the name of the beast a badge of servitude ready a badge of servitude a palisade a stake by implication a palisade a rampart or military mound for circumvallation in a siege. Pay attention now. Ready? I'm going to just highlight it and copy it. Everything the Lord told me has been right. All of it. Ready? There you go. Just like the Romans used to do. They set up a siege against a city. They set up a rampart. They go. They build this all around the city. They put palisades and stakes. And nobody gets out, but it's going in your it's going in your right hand or your forehead. Klaus Schwab just freaking told you. And the other guy that did the narrative said free will is gone. We're gonna hack humans. Now you know what it's all about. Uh, thinking you have your own free will, you do. You have the free will to say no. I'm not taking your palisade and say, I'll serve the king. I'd rather go to my death. All glory to God. See, the night I got saved, I already faced that. I knew that when I opened that door, I would be killed by the guys that had been, I'd been in the hot, two high-speed chases with. It was too crazy. They were dressed like feds. They weren't gangsters. I had had my cars blow up in front of my house. I had two cars blow up in front of my apartment. Okay, so I was involved. When you have two cars blow up in fireballs in front of your apartment, you know that you're in with the wrong crowd. Just saying, when you have two attempts made on your life and you know you're involved with the wrong crowd. Okay, I'm just saying. The night I got saved, I had to walk out that door knowing that the guys that I looked out that third story window, when Lou was with me and the Lord said, those are your enemies, I had no, I was like, who are these guys? Are these guys, are they mafia? Are they the, the, the cartel? You know, I was in bed with some pretty bad people. And I was like, I had no, but they're wearing freaking suits. And I was like, if they were feds, they would have pulled me over with lights. So I'm like, who are these guys? What are they, hired guns? I mean, who are they? But the night I got saved, I was faced with the door. Jonathan, open the door. If I open the door, the guys, it's going to alert them because it's going to, the fire alarm's going to go off. And those guys are going to box me in in an alley behind the St. Anthony, and it's over. There's, I was not armed. I did not have a weapon on me. So it would have been like, oh, uh, well, y'all guys got guns. Okay, get it over with. 
but I was willing. I was willing to open the door, knowing it meant my death, to know the truth. And I had Eleuthera going, don't open the door. Okay, guys, this story is more, more profound than y'all even know. There's stuff y'all don't know. Corey knows a lot because he's been around me. I'm like, dude, what do you think the odds are on all? You know, I've shown a lot of this to Corey, and I'm like, I don't know how to feel about some of it because it's too overwhelming. I can't process it. That this is who I am and this is what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to take a deep breath. The Lord showed me when I threw those rocks in, you did it, son. You've accomplished that which I have purposed you. It's it's amazing to see how he did what he did. Even with the name Louie on the upside of the bridge. And then the Lord tells me, throw the, the two rocks. Ready? Here's what the two rocks represent. This, ready? Put them together, Jonathan. Bind them together now. Throw them in black rock on the other side of the bridge. As Louis, 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 Eleuthera, the word Eleuthera in the Bible is licentious freedom, which was death. He had me throw the two bound together rocks on the downside of the bridge, on the current side where the water's already gone under. And he told me, Jonathan, it's all water under the bridge now. Between you and me, I have a very different relationship than you might know with the Lord. It's probably beyond your brain. I'll share it with you, but brace yourself. For him to have Louie on the upside of the bridge and tell me it's all water under the bridge, y'all may not know this, but when I met Lou and I was hanging out with her, I had no intentions of dating Lou. She was really pretty, but I hung around a lot of really pretty girls. But it things just kind of evolved, and we were friends, and things just evolved. And as I was hanging out, I was like, well, you know, I called her Eleuthera. What do you want me to call you? It's kind of weird. I say Eleuthera all the time. It, she said, well, you can call me L. That's the name of the Almighty God, by the way. You can call me L. Some people call me uh, Lucifer. That's what she said. I was like, what? I was like, how about if I call you Louie? And I, that was her name, Louie. I, I always called her Louie. For there to be Louie on that bridge with two X. And there to be a whip tail lizard going around my Triumph motorcycle, you know, Parthenogenesis. For me to have all these art pieces of Louie and I in the Garden of Eden having sex, I have three pieces of art of Lou and I in the Garden of Eden. The night I got saved, I walked out of a door, and the first thing I saw was Adam in the Garden of Eden and Christ descending into heaven. <laughs> There's a lot y'all don't know. It's like, uh, so when I saw Louie on that bridge and the Lord told me, go throw the rocks on the other side, they've been put together and bound together, go throw them in. He said, okay, now take the skull and throw it on the other side where Louie was in the two X. He said, and then I, I was like, I'm not sure what this is all about. And then I walked over. I said, I think I know what this is all about now. He had told me to buy that skull when I was with Corey. He said, go to that rock shop. I walked into a rock shop. He said, buy that black skull, take it with you. I'll show you what to do with it. Do you get it? I threw it on the upside of the bridge with the two X. He told me, first throw the two rocks that have been put together, which represents life. Ready? Life! Oh my God! Go cast them in on the downstream side. It's all water under the bridge between you and me, Jonathan. So I'd always wondered, why is it always this thing with the Garden of Eden and Lou and I? It's so weird. I have all these three pieces of art. It's so weird. Lou means licentious freedom. The night I got saved, I walk out. I pray with an angel. Pray with me, my brother. Lou's trying to stop me from opening the door. I open the door. I go down. Pray with me, my brother. Water and light comes down on me. And I turn, and the first thing I see is a giant image of Adam in the garden and Christ ascending. And then it says, whatsoever man sow it, that must he also reap. I knew it was going to be a long haul the, the moment I saw it. <laughs> Freak out. It's here. The Lord, here's what the Lord shared with me when I was leaving. When I was leaving uh, Black Rock, leaving Taos. Jonathan, it'll happen out of the clear blue sky. That's the way it's going to happen, out of the clear blue. Just be ready. So y'all should be perpetually ready now. The book has been restored. 
the understanding of the word has been restored. Do you understand? The truth has been restored. Throw it on one side of the bridge. Life, it's all water under the bridge. Everything you did, throw death on the other side. Life on one side, death on the other side at Black Rock. Are you kidding me? I got such a story to tell. It's so crazy. <laughs> you know, really, the discovery, the discovery looks like I'm crucified. Whatever. Leaving. The discovery leaving. Do you get it? That's the discovery shuttle leaving. That's a guy that looks like he's crucified with the discovery by them. <laughs> Do you get it? The other guy was an upside down vampire. Mm -hmm. No big deal. All right. Anyway, I'm going to try and calm down. Go watch the Justin Messenger series here. Let me show you. Okay. They took it down, but someone republished it. Thank you for doing that. So here you go. Jonathan Clack. I'm here with my friend Dan, and I'm here to do a DVD. Um, I need to show you guys and show everyone that's watching this a body of evidence that's been given to me through the Holy Spirit. I got saved in 2002. I had a supernatural experience with the Lord, and when I did, He changed my life forever. Thank God. Praise God. Um, he changed me. Okay, so in this series, I'll put the link to number one. I spelled it out in 2007 it's here now there's no arguing with what's in that that's in 2007 just go watch it before obama became president everything i said in there just go listen victory in christ that is the twin system that is you unified two eyes up The iron mixed with wiry clay. You know what that iron is? Ever heard of the band Iron Maiden? Female energy mixed with male energy. It's the double-headed phoenix. Watch. Hopefully this thing didn't totally glitch out, which is not uncommon for when I'm working. But here we go. Let's see what happens real quick. Okay, watch. There you go, the double-headed phoenix right there, male and female energy. That's what it represents, the male and the female energy in one system. There it is. That's what it represents, the double-headed phoenix. It's been throughout history, and they've known it, the ones that keep everybody in the dark. You ready? I'm going to give you a little thought-provoking moment. Isaiah 29, 15, and 16. Those who try and hide their plans from the Lord are doomed. They carry out their schemes in secret and think no one will see them or know what they are doing. They turn everything upside down. So in Isaiah 29, 15, and 16, it's talking about a group, they, them, that hide their plans and they turn everything upside down. That's who they are. Well, in Proverbs 25, it is the glory of Elohim to conceal. It's the same exact word. It's the same exact thing. So who is doing the hiding? I'll tell you who's doing the hiding. Elohim. I'll tell you who's doing the uncovering is El the Almighty God through his servants because we're kings. It is the glory of God to conceal. Jesus said, I have done nothing in secret. Jesus is El, the Almighty God, Emmanuel, with us, Imanu means with us is, Imanu, El, with us is El, the Almighty God. Elohim is not El, the Almighty God, Elohim is a bunch of gods, went rogue in the one system that started the earth. It is the glory of Elohim to conceal a thing, ready, the glory of Elohim, look. Elohim, gods of the supreme God. It is the glory of Elohim to conceal. Look, to hide by covering, to conceal, to hide self, to keep secret. Do you know how you unconceal everything that's been secret? You invert it. That's the way you do it. You want to know the mystery of everything? 100% no lying, then invert the world because Christians turn the world upside down. That's who we are. 
That's our identity. We are the ones that turn the world upside down. Says it in Acts 17.6. Silas, uh, had, uh, Paul and Silas had gone into Thessalonica and they drugged them before the city rulers and said, these that have turned the world upside down have come hither, hither also and they're disturbing our city because the indigenous population is attached to the earth. They are attached in the pedendas, the females, their feet take hold on hell. And the angels came in and fornicated with them, creating a two-party system. The forbidden fruit. All glory to God. There it is. It is the glory of Elohim to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings to search it out. Uh-huh. Ready? Ready? Prove it right now in front of everybody using the word of God. Isaiah 29. This is what the Lord used to prove it to me. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. Their counsel means by implication a plan. What they're doing to, to deliberate, to resolve, to do something. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide. To hide by covering. To conceal. To hide self. To hide their plans from the Lord, from the self-existent eternal Jehovah, which is Jesus. And their works are in the dark. In the darkness, see it? The darkness. Upside down, and they say, who seeth this, who knoweth this? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. From Genesis 2, where the Lord God forms man. And the Lord God, the self-existent eternal Jehovah, formed man out of the dust. And he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. The Lord God formed. Look at the word, Yatsar, through the idea of squeezing into shape, especially as a potter. See it? The Lord God formed his man from the dust. What's the word dust? Clay. Back to Isaiah 29, and let's prove this thing out and be done with the enemy. I'm done with you, enemy. Y'all are done. Ready? Roll into them. Elohim that seek deep to hide their plans from the Lord and their works are in the dark and they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things, ready, upside down, shall be esteemed as the potter's yatsar clay. Proven. Proven. All glory to the king. <laughs> we are done. The rocks have been put together. They've been bound together and cast in the midst of the river. On one side is death. On the other side, life has been restored and thrown in. Y'all don't even know all the story, man. I mean, there's a lot more in my personal life you don't know. And it's perfect. I was destined to do what I do. It's just hard for me to talk about it sometimes, wrap my brain around all of it. I don't want people going, oh my God, you talk so much about yourself. Yeah, I'm part of the equation. I'm sorry. It's like, deal with it. Anyway, okay, <laughs> go watch the Just a Messenger series and freak out. Here it is, I'll do this, I'll highlight it right now. Someone, this was published a long time ago. It was, the, the video was shot before Obama became president. Go watch the entire series. I think there's 11 parts to it. Watch them all. Okay, so now I'm gonna highlight this. I'm gonna share it, I'm gonna put it in the link, a description box, and I'm going to load this video up. Hopefully everything will be good. No problems. All right. Love you guys. Uh, you know what? I'm going to dig out my bear. Come out of there. All right, guys. <laughs> I love you in Christ. Yeah, we're there. It's going to happen out of the clear blue sky, guaranteed. He never fails. He never fails. Never. The Lord God does does not fail. He does not miss. And I praise, I just thank him that he would let me do what he let me do. It was an ass whooping for a long time. <laughs> it's a long extended ass kicking. But it was, I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, this is you. This is Johnny. I love you in Christ. We're going to be okay, guys. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. If you're afraid of death, then, then something's wrong. Death is the door to life. That I mean, death is the door we go through to life. If you're not converted, death is an eternity of suffering. 
If you're converted, death is the door to life. And we've overcome death because greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Jesus overcame death on the cross to show us, I'm going to take the two yous, reconcile them, and you're going to come out with a glorified body. I mean, we're joint heirs with Christ. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Ready? Y'all ready? Woo! Yes. All glory to the king. His purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. He's the prince of peace. Who's the enemy? The prince of darkness. Who's our king? The prince of light. Oh, and we got to get that other eye inverted so you can see clearly. That's why when you turn the virgin upside down, it's a dead chief. Oh, that's why you turn the dragon upside down and or the virgin upside down is a dragon. Oh, that's why the Vatican's a damn snake. Oh, that's why there's two snakes side by side, audience hall and the Vatican Parthenogenesis 2X, right where I threw the skull. <laughs> Talk about an ass whip and the enemy just got their ass handed to them. Oh, it feels so good. I've always hated bullies. I used to get bullied. That's why I took martial arts. I was like, no way. I don't care. If I'm small, I'm going to be the meanest, toughest, small guy. I don't give a shit. And I took I took martial arts for 30 years. And I'm like, whatever, bring it. it was, I can't stand bullies. Can't stand them. They need their asses kicked. <laughs> and I just got to hand the angel of the bottomless kick, pit, and ass kicking. Woo! Yes. <laughs> I love it. All right, guys.